Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. I've got the um, no haircut for two or three month thing going on. Can't stand it. What are you going to do? Uh, got a beer review today, interesting one. But before I get started, look what I did. Look what I did today. See that? It's the best I can get. It's part of my vegetable garden I'm going to be planting. Tomorrow. Today. Big Storm Brewery. Big Storm Brewing Company. Arcus. Southern Pale Ale. Look at that bad boy. Look at it. Look at the can. Nice. Wrap around. One pint. 6.2% ABV. Uh, look what it says here. Serve cold as hell. This Pale Ale pairs with crab legs, chicken, fried chicken, and steak. Alright. A bronze medalist at the 2017 Best Florida Beer Competition, our Southern Pale Ale rolls in with an intense citrusy hop aroma. Arcus is brewed with two-row Canadian barley and mosaic hops. The addition of wildflower honey from Pasco County lends a bouncing sweetness for a clean finish. Available at retailers and on draft in our tap rooms and throughout Florida. It's from Florida, I got it when I was um, vacationing down there. You know, you all know I go down there a lot of times in the winter. And uh, brewed in Tampa Bay, Florida. Um, oh, look at that. And it has a little uh, brewed with uh, Florida honey. Now, what I like about um, about uh, a lot of times fruit beers, I like them when they have a uh, uh, high hop content, content uh, they're very hoppy because I think that the sweetness of the fruit, the fruitiness is balanced by the hop, the bitterness of the hop. So I think that this honey is gonna balance out the hoppiness. I don't like that real bitter hoppiness taste by itself. I like it balanced nice. And you know, just because hops are in there doesn't mean it's bitter. It could be dry hop, meaning after the beer was done, it, the hops were added. And the oil doesn't get boiled out and add the bitterness, but it adds the flavor and the smell. Uh, but anyway, just because it's uh, hops doesn't mean it's uh, always bitter. It could be dry hops. So let's, uh, let's get this baby in a glass. I'm uh, interested in looking, uh, tasting that honey and the uh, hops, Canadian malts, all right? We got a lot going on here. A lot, ooh. You know, I'm a good distance. I smell it from here. I love that. There it is. Beautiful orange color. Big foamy white head on it. Oh, and a great smell. I mean, so smell from here is beautiful. Beautiful. See we pick out it as bad boy. See we get at it as a baby. Mmm, I smell the citrus, the citrus fruit and the floral notes. And then I smell the actual hops, the hoppiness. If you know what hops smell like you do. And I smell that hopness behind it. Nice. Is it hopness? Hoppiness? Happiness here in a minute. So very, very pleasing. Like I said, that hop smell and probably the taste is going to balance out the fruit, fruit flavor of the of the, uh, of the hops and the um, the honey. So let's see if we can get a taste of that honey. Looking forward to the honey actually. Hmm. You know, you get the sweet maltiness, you get the hop flavor, you get that citrusy, floral type taste in your mouth, and there's a little sweetness, but it's not sweet at all. I'm not tasting like it's honey was added to this. Just, I would mistake it for the, the uh, fruitiness of the hops, 
and the uh, maltiness. Uh, but I know that the honey's in it because I read it, but I don't taste the honey. But it really kills any bitterness uh, in this. So you're getting that, that intense flavor, that hoppy flavor, and when you swallow, but there's not a lot of bitterness. I think the honey's just kind of canceling it out. There's a little bit, right? But not, not, not a lot at all. So what the honey did was it added a nice mouth feel and balanced out the bitterness to me. And you all may be able to pick out the honey. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really picking it out. It's it's in there. Uh, and I noticed on the can, now that I show you where it had the uh, uh, brewed with Florida honey. But see, they got the um, see yeah, little honey thing there. But um, So I like the idea that there's honey in here. You know, it adds some uh, nutrients. Honey does. Um... But it's not, you think it's going to be coy or sweet. It's not 6.2% well hidden, although it's not a giant ABV. Uh, certainly above the 4.55 of, of uh, maybe, uh, say, a butter mill or something like that. So, um, yeah. It's, a, uh, it's, it's easy drinker. And you've got a lot more flavor, in my opinion. You've got a lot more flavor than a lot of lagers and uh, so on so it's a pale ale you know um, but it's got a lot of flavor it's got that citrus and that floral and a little bit of pininess right comes with everybody says the same thing but that's that, that's it's in there and then I like the mouthfeel and a little bit of sweetness from the malts and I guess from the honey but certainly not coy not not real sweet or anything like that well hidden sweetness uh, just in there but not in your face You know, I'm going to say this. It said serve cold. And as it's warming up, because it's warm out here, as and it was cold, I'm tasting the honey. I'm tasting the sweetness. I don't know why this is uh, cold as hell. Uh, I think serve not cold as hell, whatever that is, in the 30s, but in the uh, mid to upper 40s maybe. Mm. It's much better. Now I'm getting a distinct orange as the citrus with the honey. Uh, it's getting sweeter. Mm. And you know, cold does close close things up. It closes your taste buds up. Uh, the classic example, it's why they put so much sugar in ice cream. Because it's frozen. If you let ice cream melt and drink it, oh. It'd be unbelievably sweet. That coldness closes up the flavor, closes things. You add ice to things, you know, the, it, it, it tightens up that flavor, makes it harder to pick it out. Um, just letting you know as this warms up, it's changing, and I'm liking it better. I'm liking it better now. Yeah, I really like that um, orange flavor with the with the sweetness. It's got sweeter. It's it's with the honey flavor. So, if you're gonna do this, my opinion. Now, the manufacturer, the, the guy who brewed it, says serve really cold. I I don't agree with that. If it's in the refrigerator, yeah, taste it, but uh, prepare to leave it sitting out. If it's a if it's a nice warm day or in the house. Um, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, and let it warm up a little bit. You're going to get a lot more flavor out of it. From Hillbilly Select Views, everybody, if you've had it, if you tried it, uh, and if you haven't, you're going to try it. Try it cold and then let it warm up. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you. See you on the next one. You know what I'm asking, right? Subscribe. I need you all to subscribe, please. And um, there's something else I asked for besides subscription. What is it? No, I can't remember. Oh, check the playlist. Because that playlist and what I review is nothing short of amazing. And you'll see how above and beyond I go. If you check out the playlist, you will like something in one of my categories. You have to. There's too much interesting stuff. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody, thank you so much for being here.